Cool TV proudly presents East Carter Raiders Baseball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you coverage of the Raiders live from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the field for the pregame show and East Carter Raiders Baseball live on Cool TV. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to East Carter High School. As we bring you some high school baseball action, East Carter hosting Round County tonight, and we're glad to have you along this evening. Jeff Irwin, Dickie Tiller here this evening, and we're glad to bring you exciting East Carter Raider baseball. East 2-2 two and two on the season, Round County 11-0, and 0, and this Round County team is playing good baseball. It's a team that's hitting 427 on the season and pounding out hits. The first three games, listen to this, first three games, they outscored their opponents 66-6 to six the first three games. Wins over Russell. 22 to 4, Menifee 22 to nothing, and Menifee again 22 to nothing. That was 22 to 1. I'm sorry, 22 to 1, 22 to 1, and then a win over Russell 22 to 4. So, not too shabby. We'll step out, take a break, come back, and introduce you to East Carter and Round County lineups tonight, and look at uh, some other things for you. East hosting Round, and it's all right here on Cool TV. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals and they offer 24 hours seven days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Glad to have you along. East hosting Round County. Let's look at the Vikings for you. Uh, batting order, batting first, going to be shortstop number 11, Aaron Pennington, hitting 393 on the season. He's pounded out 11 hits already. Uh, Hayden Maines will DH tonight. He's DHing for pitcher uh, J.A. Ingles. And Maines hitting 469 on the season and pounding 15 big hits. Batting third, the catcher's number 15, Chance uh, Furnish, and he's hitting a 586 so far this season with 15 hits on the year. The cleanup hitter in right field is number nine, Caleb Cooper, only 419 for him on the season. Pretty impressive numbers for the Round County Vikings with 13 hits. Uh, ben Dehart, uh, the first baseman, number 20, he'll bat fifth. Hitting 308 with eight eight hits this season. Hunter Hampton, the center fielder, 
Uh, number 30 hit six, a 438 hitter with 14 hits on the season. Number 23, Colby Wilburn, third baseman, uh, has 12 hits, hitting 429 on the year. Abram Norton, the second baseman, he's number two, hitting eighth and hitting uh, 400 so far this season with 12 hits. And batting ninth, left fielder number 13, Will Richardson, a 462 hitter with six hits on the year. Team batting average, 407. That's unbelievable. And that is early in the season here. Just watch those numbers uh, continue to climb for these Round County Vikings. 11-0 on the season. They play next after today, April the 2nd through the 4th at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Pitcher for uh, the Vikings tonight, Engel will be on the mound. He's 2-0 on the year. He's pitched in nine innings. Gave up five hits, five runs, and five earned runs. He's walked eight and struck out 18 with a 3.89 earned run average. What about the East Carter Raiders? Batting first, the shortstop. Number 16, Tate Scott, hitting uh, 500 on the year for the East Carter Raiders. Batting second, third baseman. Number 17, Ty Scott, a 308 hitter on the season with four hits so far this season. Batting third, the pitchers, number three, Andrew Tomalonis, hitting 357 on the year, five hits on the, on, on the year for a young man so far. Cleanup hitter, uh, center fielders, number 10, Blake Hall, hitting 333 with four hits on the year. Uh, hitting fifth, the catcher is going to be number 45, Jackson Barker, a 231 hitter on the season with three hits so far this year. Gavin Sexton, the second baseman, number 35, hitting 385 on the year. Five hits for, for this young man. Batting seventh is going to be the DH, number 40, Colin Pennington. And Pennington hitting 666 on the year with two hits. And Cody Salmons will bat eighth and play first base, number 49. And uh, he's hitting 400 on the season with four hits so far. The early, early baseball season for East and hitting ninth. Right fielder, number 25, Levi Hutchinson, a 100 hitter with one hit, looking to add that tonight. 336 is a team for the East Carter Raiders, 2-2 two and two on the season with wins over Russell, 10-6, to six, and Ashland shut the Tomcats out, 8 to nothing. They lost to Raceland, 7-3, to three, and Powell County, 7-4. to four. Next game up will be down south in sunny Florida. They'll play April the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th at Coco Expo Spring Training Facility, in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Let's take a break. Come back. We'll have the start of the first pitch. It's East Carter hosting Round County right here on Cool TV. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here. Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies, along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area, no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. And they carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. 
I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Meeting of the Minds. They're at the plate. And uh, umpires tonight, Dave Anderson. And uh, looks like it's Lane Hughes. Anderson will be behind the plate. Hughes on the bases. And uh, we're about ready to get started here. We'll have the National Anthem and then then get started. We'll set the defense for you for East Carter. Here's the Raiders uh, play at home, of course. And... Uh, Caleb Lane out in left field, Blake Hall in center, Levi Hutchinson will be out in right field, Ty Scott at third, Tate Scott at short, uh, Gavin Sexton down at second base, Cody Salmons at first base, Jackson Barker, and Tom Malone is tonight. Start things out on the mound. We'll get some pitching stats on Andrew Tom Malonis. Looks like i got to get there first. Hang on a minute. And for East Carter, you got to pull that up here for us. You know, a good stat man, Jeff, would have that already pulled up. Tom Malone is, uh, uh, looks like eight innings for the young man. He's given up seven hits, six runs, four earned runs, four walks. He struck out nine. He's one and one on the season with an ERA of 3.5. Zero. And East Carter pack up after tonight and take a trip to Cocoa Beach, Florida, the Sunshine State. So great place to play. Cocoa Expo has been remodeled, and it's supposed to be a really nice place to go. And that's where the East Carter Raiders will be down in Cocoa, Florida. Round County's going to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So we're going to have the National Anthem. When we do, we'll step out, take a minute break. Or no, I think we'll, we decide to keep it. So we're going to show you the National Anthem the here from East Carter High School. Game 5 of the year for East Carter. Game 12 of the year for the Round County Vikings. So here come the rest of the team for East Carter on the field. So we'll uh, take a moment of silence as we have the National Anthem here at East Carter High School. Jeff? What do you got a good picture for us here? There we go. All right, great job, Jeffrey, and also I think that's Ian out there, isn't it? And appreciate you guys so much. Beautiful pictures there uh, during the National Anthem. Look here for Round County again. Aaron Pennington will lead things off for Round County as, as uh, looks like maybe Tom Alonis out there finishing up some warm-up pitches. So I have Pennington here. The shortstop for Round County, 393 hitter. And uh, the is uh, first three, first four or five, well, actually the whole lineup. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a lineup hitting close to 400 or five, everyone above 400. Only two guys, one at 308, one at uh, 393. Everybody else 400 or better 
after 11 ball games. That's that's impressive. So we'll we'll see a good hitting team here. See if Tom Malonis can keep the Round County Vikings at bay tonight. Aaron Pennington will lead things off, and then Hayden Maines after him. He's the DH. Chase Furnish will bat third. He's the catcher. And the cleanup guy is Caleb Cooper. Cooper 419 on the season. That's that that been D. Hard, Hunter Hampton, Colby Wilburn bats seventh at 429 on the season. And Abram Norton, he'll bat eighth and hit 400. And the number nine hitter hits 462. Woo. Will Richardson. And that's a look at the batting lineup for Round County. There's a throw down. Good throw down by the catcher. And we're ready to get started. Glad to have you along tonight. If you're listening from Moorhead, Round County hey, Viking fan, we're Pennington. glad to have you as well. Aaron Remember the days of uh, Larry and Don Harden at Brown County? It was a long time ago. Tom Alonis, he's ready, and Pennington's in the box. Here comes the first pitch. This one stays up and out. Ball one. Here comes a 1-0, and a called strike right there on the outside corner. He's Carter, all white tonight. Brown County in their gray pins. Trimmed in green, and this one stays up, 2-1. and one. Two balls and a strike, and this one stays upstairs, 3-0. and oh. Here comes a 3-1, and this one's up and out of play. Stay away from the gray traverse, please. Swung on, popped up right side, giving chase. Right fielder fading over towards the line, makes the catch, and there's one away. Now that, that is uh, East Carter's eight, Hutchinson over in right field, kind of fading toward the line, made it, made the easy catch, and there's there's one away. Hayden Maines, the DH, a 429 hitter on the season from the left side. And here comes Tom Malonis. This one stays up. One and oh. Smacked center field. Center fielder going back, back, back on his horse. Couldn't get to it. One hops the fence. And here comes a throw into second quickly. That looks like it's, what, three, for round county number 40-something out to center Orange. field. Can't, can't tell the, nah, but he slapped that one straight away center field. He ain't hitting 469 for no reason. That's hit number 16 of the season for Mains. One on, he's at second, and here comes Chance Furnish to the plate. He's the catcher. 586 on the season for the catcher. Here comes a pitch and uh, going to be stay up for ball one. One on, one out here for Round County, top of the first inning. Glad to have you along, and he dropped the ball, engaging the rubber. That's a balk. So the double for Maine gets him to third on the balk. Swing and a miss. Strike one, one and one. He's firing to the plate. This one's hit right to the third baseman. He'll look back to runner and take the out at first base. Textbook play. And that's a five to three out if you're recording at home. Looking, looking back the runner to the bag. And then making the throw over. And there's two away. Caleb Cooper will come to the plate now. 419 on the season. The cleanup guy. 
I'm alone is from the stretch. And he comes set. He'll come to the plate. This one's fouled. Back to the screen. 0 and 1. <clears throat> Pitching right in the sun. Wind blowing from left to right here at East Carter High School today. Beautiful evening for baseball. And this one's down low. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch, and it's strike called on the check swing. Good looking pitch. Game time temperature 67 degrees here in Grayson. And this one swung on and fouled at the plate back behind the home plate. It'll be much warmer where the Raiders are going next week in Cocoa, Florida. About this time of year, it don't get much below 67 at night. Here comes the one and two, stays upstairs, two and two. Almost like he's overthrowing a little bit. One on at third for Round County. Tom Malone is trying to get an out here, swung on and fouled. Out of play. <clears throat> two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Main's down at third base. Pennington popped up to right field, and the catcher grounded out to third. Here comes the pitch. Swung on and hit straight back up the middle, and Round County is going to get one run here in the top of the first inning at least. Cooper hit that ball hard up the middle, no play, and that's a single with an RBI. Their second hit of the inning. Ben Dehart, the, the catcher. 308, this, this is the guy you want. Everybody else hitting 438, 429, 400, and 462. Here comes a pitch. Missing outside. 1-0. One, oh. One to nothing. Brown County leads. A big, big lead at first. Pop this one up. Should be playable. Right fielder coming in. Going to catch it in foul territory, and that's it for Brown County. Here in the top of the first inning, but not before the Vikings get one run on two big hits, and they leave one on. Uh, going in the bottom of the first inning, it's Round County 1, East Carter coming to bat on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to East Carter High School. One to nothing here as East Carter comes to bat in the bottom of the first inning. We'll set the defense for you for Round County. Richardson out in left field. Hampton out in center. Cooper the right fielder. Wilburn down at third base. Pennington at short. Norton at second. Dehart at first. Uh, Furnish is the catcher. And Ingles. Ingles on the mound. He's 2-0 and on the season. Nine innings this inning. Giving up five hits, five runs, and five earned runs. Walked eight, struck out 18. Angles a 3.89 ERA so far this season. Due up for East Carter, going to be uh, Tate Scott, Ty Scott, and Andrew Tomalonis. And we're glad to have you along this evening here on Cool TV. 
beautiful day for baseball. Don't get these are really early spring games and usually a lot colder. So we're happy with the warm weather. Throw down. We're ready to get started here. Number 16, Tate Scott. We'll check out some scores for you from around the region and state. And Tate Scott will lead things off. Left-handed hitter, a 500 hitter so far on the season. Here comes first pitch, swung on, hit hard, left side, drifting out to the left fielder right there to make a catch. And yeah, that was uh, Richardson out there, almost right to him. First pitch, one out. That'll bring Ty Scott to the plate. He's the third baseman at 308 on the season with four hits so far. Couple doubles already on the year from the right side. Comes the pitch from Ingles and a strike called. Looked pretty good from here. Here comes the 0-1. Got him. I, th I think it, it hit him. No, it, did he get away from it? Must have. One ball, one strike, one out. Bottom of the first. Here comes the pitch. And a strike called. Big hello to Jim and Margaret Scott. Hope you guys are doing great. Here comes a one, two. Upstairs and inside, two and two. Andrew Tomalonis Andrew Tom on deck. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, popped up center field, drifting to his right, waving off the left fielder. He'll make the catch, and there's two away, and that is Hampton out there in center field for round County. Two away. Here comes Tom Alonis. 357 on the year. He's pounded out five hits, like about three RBI so far. Couple doubles. Angles with two outs. Here comes the pitch. Misses. Swung on, popped up, right side. Right fielder has a play. Nope, nobody's going to get to it. Did he get to it? I, yeah, I guess he did. What a great catch. I'd like to see that on instant replay. You got our instant replay reel ready? And this instant replay being brought to you by Grayson Sporting Goods. And a great catch. Second baseman have to go way back off the apron behind first base. And that was a good play. And that is it for the first. Round County 1, East Carter, nothing on the Cool, sport, uh, cool Hit Sports Network. <laughs> Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Welcome back to East Carter High School. One to nothing, Round County, as we go to the top of the second inning. Round County will hit six, seven, and eight hitters in the lineup. 
Vikings had two hits the first inning and a run. They left one on. Hunter Hampton, center fielder, swing and swings and misses at pitch number one. 438 on the season, 14 hits for him. Tom Alone is rocking, and he's going to get the call on the corner. Great pitch. Here comes the 0-2. This one's in the dirt. Outside, good spot for no two there. They get Hampton fishing out there for it. And here comes the one and two. Smack down to the third baseman. He'll play it off his chest, and the throw over is not going to be in time. And on his way to second base is going to be Hampton. Might have been in time if he had caught it. Now batting for round county number 23, Colby Wilbur. What'd you guys give him? All day. All day, he said. Well, you never know. Well, you actually, you do know out here. Brown County with a base runner, nobody out. Colby Wil Wilburn will take strike one. Colby Wilburn, a 429 hitter. As Tom Malonis looks down at second, he'll come plate word, and this one's popped up and out of play. Goes right over top of the dugout, home dugout. Oh, and two. Wilburn with 12 hits on the season. Tom Malonis looks back at second, and now Plateward again hits straight up the middle. Center fielder will have a play on it, and they'll hold him up at third. A great throw coming to the plate. And a single went to second on the throw. Hampton down at third. Now and Wilburn down at second after that single. A good throw from center fielder coming to the plate. And that'll bring up Abram Norden, the second baseman. A four hundred hitter. This one's hit smack down to the second baseman. He'll play it a run will score. He'll get the out at first. Norden's out four to three with an RBI. And it's two to nothing. Will Richardson. That'll go War Wilburn to third, and Will Richardson will come to the plate. He's the left fielder, a 462 hitter on the year. Tom Alonis checks briefly at third, comes to the plate, and a strike called. Brown County in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, after this for a week. And a strike two called. Raiders will be a little further south, uh, actually a lot further south. They'll be at Cocoa Expo in Cocoa Beach, Florida for spring training. A week of sun and baseball. Smacked out the shortstop. He'll gobble it up, throw over. It's not going to be in time. He legged that out. That's an infield hit. Now batting. Number 11. And an RBI. And three to nothing. Hit pretty hard in the hole. Made a good play on it. And a good throw over just wasn't in time. Tom Alonis. Strike called on the inside corner. Back up to the top of the order, though. Pennington at the plate. He's 0 for 1 on the day. The 393 hitter on the season. No lead at first at all. And this one's in the dirt and outside. One on one. Two runs in, three to nothing. Tom Alonis 
stays upstairs. Field looks great here at East Carter High School, early spring. Here comes the pitch. Squares to bunt. Comes left side. Good bunt. Going to go foul, though. Making it a two and two. Lemon County with a win today over Ripley Union, 15 to nothing in four innings. Swung on, hit hard at the shortstop. He went backwards, and the ball kind of ate him up on that. That's going to be an error. He hit it hard right to him. And there's two on. And one out. That brings up Hayden Maines to the plate. We're going to have a chit-chat on the mound. So let's take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. This is East Carter Baseball on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out at East Carter High School, strike called. This is Maines, Hayden Maines at the plate. One for one on the day, the 429 hitter. From the left side, two on and one out for Round County. Here comes the pitch and strike called. Runners at first and second here, one out. Top of the second inning. Three to nothing, Round County. Tom Alonis. Oh, they could hit him. It did hit him. I hit the bat. Aha, uh -huh. that is a good call. If it did hit the bat. If he tried to play it off like it hit him in the arm, he should have played a little bit harder on that one. It is a foul ball. It's 0-2. Swung on, hit in the hole at second base. Second baseman able to make the play, getting the out. What a great play there at second base. Carter hit way over in the gap. That's Sexton. Tough play. Big out for East Carter. Two away now. Runners at second and third for Round County. That brings uh, the catcher back to the plate. Chance. Furnish. Looking back at second, coming to the play. This one's hit hard down third base, bobbling it, and he's not going to get no play anywhere. That's going to be an error on the third baseman. Three errors this inning for these Carter Raiders and three runs in. That should have been out in the inning. It was a hard hit ball, but couldn't make a play on it. Four, yeah, four zero.
Swung on and upstairs kind of foul tipped. It's 0-1, I think. Caleb Cooper, he is one for one on the day. Singled in the first with the RBI. and He wanted to swing at that one, but didn't. It's 0-2. Good looking pitch. Here comes the pitch. Oh, that was close. One and two. Tom Malone is checking at second. Swung on and missed strike three on a high fastball. And that's it for Round County. But not before they get three runs. On, looks like. One, two hits, and they leave two on, and there were three East Carter heirs. Back in a moment, this is Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family, because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Four to nothing round county as we go here at the bottom of the second inning. Do up this inning. Four, five, and six hitters. Hall, Barker, and Sexton. Round County with three runs last inning. A couple hits, but East Carter really... Had three big airs. And the throw down, and we're ready to get started. Glad to have you along. We got about a 6.30 start, maybe a little after that. Been playing about 30, 35 minutes. Blake Hall, 3.30, three on the season. Really enjoyed watching this young man play basketball this season. He is Mr. Energy. And missed down low. One and oh, here comes the pitch. Pop this one up right side. I believe it might be out of play. First baseman giving chase. One and one here. Here comes a one one. This one's hit pretty hard out left side. That's going to drop in for at least a single. Nope. He's going on his way to second. He never stopped. Here comes a throw. It's going to be not in time over the second baseman's head and a leadoff double. The catcher is fourth of the season. Parker. That ball was hit really well. And the Raiders get a leadoff double. That'll bring up uh, Jackson Barker to the plate, the catcher. At 231 hitter. Looking for hit number four here. The Raiders just need to get some back here. Don't have to, not all at once, just a few. As uh, Hall just tattooed one to left center field. Angle checking a couple times at second before coming plateward and swung on it. 
missed. 0-1. Glad to have you along here on Cool TV. You got a lot of baseball and softball games for you coming up this baseball and softball season and Kentucky Christian University as well. Swung on, hitting down to third baseman. He made the grab, and the throw over is over the first baseman's head, and here comes Hall. Hall will stop up at third, and on his way to second is going to be Barker. He sailed that one over the first base head. So a hit and an error gives two on for the East Carter Raiders, second and third, and nobody out. That'll bring up Gavin Sexton. 385 on the season. A courtesy runner in the ball game for the catcher. And Engel, he's ready. He'll come set, look back at second base. And plate word now. This one's hit against the screen in front of the press box. 0-1. Raceland at Buffalo this evening, Buffalo, West Virginia. Swung on and missed. Not a lot of games here in the 16th region. People getting packed and ready to go. Lewis County's at Ironton, Ohio tonight. Swung on and missed. Strike three. And Ingles gets his first strike out of the night. Colin Pennington. That'll bring up Colin Pennington, the DH. 667 on the year. A couple of hits for that young man. Morgan County hosting Perry County Central tonight. Johnson Central at Russell. Saw a few more games than I thought they was. This one's fouled off. Ingles, he's wanting time. I think he's wanting to change balls. Oh, and one. One out. Two on here. Second and third. Angles. Nice pitch. Strike two. Here comes the pitch. This is down low. One ball, two strikes. One out. Sw check swing. Foul. One ball, two strikes. Here comes the pitch. Swung on and foul at the plate. They're going to tag him out. Oh. Dave Anderson calls a foul ball. So 
So the count's one and two. Engel has the sign to check at third base and plate word now. Swung on right back to him. We'll make a backhanded play and and it's foul ball to plate. Dave Anderson immediately on that call. Not a hard hit ball. One ball, two strikes. Everybody back where they're supposed to be. Here comes the pitch. Strike three called on the inside corner. Now the first base Second the strike out Kobe. of the game here for Engel, and there's two away. Cody Salmon's first baseman, a 400 hitter. Four hundred on the season, four hits, a couple RBIs, and East Carter would sure like a couple right now. Pop this one up. That there is room. First baseman giving chase makes the catch, and that's the inning. First two guys get on. We can't get them in. And for East Carter, no runs on one hit. They leave two, and they were one round county here. After two complete, it's round county four. He's Carter Nothing on Cool TV. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back here to East Carter High School. Top of the third inning we go. Ben Dehart will lead things off for Round County. It's max this one to right center field. That's going to be down for at least a... Nope, he's on his way to second. He gets all the way to the fence. And a little leadoff double for Dehart. Round County, number 30, Hunter Hampton. Hunter Hampton will come to the plate. He's 0 for 1 on by the air on the third baseman last inning. Four thirty-eight on the year. Brown County has hit the ball pretty well tonight. Four hits. That was the fifth hit of the ball game. Sam Malone has checked at second. This one stays upstairs. Here comes the pitch. Swung on, hit hard. That'll fall down in left center field. And he'll keep the runner at third base as Hall comes up ready to fire. Doesn't have to. Back-to-back -back hits for Round County, a double and a single. And runners to the corners here. Nobody out here in the top of the third inning. Colby Wilburn comes to the plate here. Number 23, Colby Wilburn. Wilburn's one for one already, singled and scored in the second inning. This one stays up. 1 0. Oh. It's down low. Mm -hmm. 
Norton on deck for Round County. This one's hit sharply center field. He coming in and making the grab. And the tag from third should be close. I think they got him. Yeah. They do got him. And we'll look at that again. You can see it again as the home plate umpire comes in to see why he's out. But it's a good call. Instant replay brought to you by Gregson Sporting Goods. All your baseball, softball needs. They got some great things for camping, all kinds of things. Grayson Sporting Goods. Stop out and see them. Great throw from center field. And there's there's two away now. One on, two outs, and this one's smack foul down the right side. Abram Norton. Amalonis looks back at second a couple times. and Come plate word, this one's down low. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss. Pitch made him look silly. A good looking pitch. Here comes the pitch. This one's foul at the plate. Hampton was on his way to third. He'll go back. Left-handed hitter for Norton here. He's a 400 hitter. So far this season, here comes the pitch, and this one stays down two and two. He's 0 for 1 today, grounded out to second in the second inning. Got an RBI. Amalonis. No. Swung on, missed everything. Goes all the way back to the fence, and He'll be safe at first base. Strikeout. E2. And runners back to corners here for Round County, but two outs now. Will Richardson. He's the number nine hitter in the lineup. He plays left field. This will be the fifth hitter of the inning. Big lead at first base. And this one stays upstairs, 1-0. Oh. One 1-0 oh, turns into 2-0. Oh. Good block by the catchers. Oh, be going to go for it here. And still third. I mean, he stole the home plate. It was a good block. The catcher went out to get it. And nobody at the plate. And it's a five to nothing ball game. Swung on, popped up and out of play for Richardson, and he's he's holding tough at the plate. Norton down to second base now. Amalonis out at second. Looking at second. He comes to plate board, and this one's fouled against the screen. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. One run in already. And here comes the pitch. Strike three called. He knew it, too. Richardson just started walking back to the dugout. He knew that was out, or that was a good pitch. One run this inning. Uh, looks like two more hits. 
They leave one, and they were one more East Carter air. Going to the bottom of the third, it's Round County 5, East Carter nothing on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Welcome back to East Carter High School, 5 to nothing, Round County as we go to the bottom of the third inning. It's going to be 9-1-2 and two for the Raiders this inning. Hutchison, Scott, and Scott. The Vikings got one run in the first, three in the second, and one in the third. East Carter trying to get things going here with Levi Hutchison. Now batting the right fielder. Number 11, Levi Hutchison. Hutchison, 100 on the season. And this one's outside for Engel. Right call. He's Carter shutting out Ashland. Already. Here comes the 1 1. Squares to bunt. Was inside. And it's strike one. Here comes the 1 and 2. And this one stays out. Makes it two and two. And he reached out for it, strike three. Now batting number 16, take shot. His third strike out of the nine. That'll bring the Raiders back up to the top of the order here. Tate Scott will come to the plate. He swung at the first pitch back in the first inning and popped up to the left fielder. Pretty hard hit ball right to the left fielder. And that was down low. Tate, left-handed hitter, 500 on the season. Strike right, called. Two and one now. Ty Scott on deck. He's Carter's looking for base runners. And here comes a two one pitch. Turns into three one. Don't think he's had a base on ball this season. Here comes the pitch. Stays down low. Ball four. Walked in. Now batting number 17, Ty Scott. <coughs> Ty Scott coming to the plate. That was Tate's first walk of the season. 
That's what East Carter's wanting right now, just base runners and a good lead at first. This one's upstairs. First walk of the, the game for Engel as well. And that one stayed up. That is Engel's ninth walk of the season. Two balls, no strikes, one out. East has got one on. Uh, one on. They trail around County here in the bottom of the third inning, 5 nothing. Nice lead at first. And a strike call. Makes it two and one on Ty Scott, the third baseman. East Carter with right where they want to be in their Hitting lineup here. This one's off to second. Hard hit ball left field. That ball's going to drop in there. That was a really hard hit ball. Probably going to score a run here. No questions asked. Going to stand up double with an RBI for Ty Scott as he ripped that one. Batting the pitcher, number three, Andrew Tomalonis. And the Raiders get take Scott in. And it's a five to one game now. One in, one out, and Andrew Tomalonis steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1 on the day, popped up to the second baseman in the first inning. Angles checking at second a couple times before coming plate. We're in this called strike one. Here comes the pitch, swung on, hit sharply right back to the second baseman. And he's safe at second. They did not get the double play. Lined straight back to the second baseman. And they tried to get the double play at second, but it was not in time. Blake Hall steps to the plate. He's one for one tonight, doubled in the second. Engel looks at second a couple times. A really nice lead out there for Scott, and this one's a called strike. Just missed. Not by much. It was a pretty pitch, but one ball, one strike. An angle. Really looking, giving a lot of time out to Scott at second base. This one's in the dirt. Good block by the catcher. And off to third goes Scott. Give him another stolen base. Wild pitch. Sorry. Catcher made a good block. Two and one the count. These cards are trying to get Scott in from third here. Angle looking at third base. He'll come plate where this one's popped up and out of play. A 
making the count two balls, two strikes. Here comes the pitch. Pop this one up and out of play. Five to one the score. He's Carter getting a run here in the third. Trying to get another one in. Here comes the pitch swung on, and that might be it. That is a hard ball to play, and not going to get him at first base. That's going to get an infield single with an RBI. Now batting number 45. Jackson Parker. So two runs in here for East Carter after that single with an RBI by Blake Hall. That's going to bring up catcher Jackson Barker. He's 0 for 1 on the day on by an air on the third baseman. Well, two runs in a 5-2 to two game. After Hall connected with a single. Shortstop made a great play on it, but if it's over the hole, you're not going to get him at first. Strike called as Hall can motor. Off to second he goes. <clears throat> Engel has the sign to look back at second. Here comes the pitch, swung and foul at the plate. One and two. Here comes the pitch, swung on, popped up. That may be in there. That's going to drop down in there, and that's going to get an, another East Carter run. As Barker gets a single with an RBI, dropped right in there in left field. So three runs in for East Carter here, all with two outs. That'll bring up Gavin Sexton to the plate. He's the catcher. He struck out in the second inning. He's 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch. This one's strike called. Oh, and one pops this one up. Shortstop, second baseman. Shortstop will make the catch on the second base side of the bag, and that's it for East Carter, but not before. The Raiders get three big runs on, looks like one, two, three big hits, and they leave one on. So after three complete, it's Round County five, East Carter three. On Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads. A tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow 
that's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. Three big runs. Uh, they're at the bottom of the third inning. We go to the fourth. Two up this inning for Round County is going to be, oh, they're back up the top of the order. Round County number 11, Aaron Pennington. Here comes the pitch. This one going to miss. Aaron Pennington. He's 0 for 2 on the night. Pop up and on by an air in the shortstop. Big shout out to our good friends at Papa John's Pizza watching tonight. Swung on and fouled back to the screen. 2 and 1. Thanks for watching. Papa John's Pizza. Boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? Brian, you ought to bring us a pizza, son. Better ingredients, better pizza. That's Papa John. Strike two called. They are the official home of the 16th Region Boys and Girls Basketball Show. Goes from December 1st through until the regional basketball tournament starts. Had a great time there every Saturday morning with Hager Easterling and Charlie Baker. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. This one stayed up. Three balls, two strikes. Five to three ball game now. He went upstairs to chase it. And that's strike three. Second strikeout, third strikeout of the night. One, two, three, four strikeout of the night, like I said. And that's going to bring up uh, Hayden Maines. Pop this one, left side, going to go foul. I think we've got a cameraman down there someplace. On that side, not too far away from him. Owen oh, won the count. Strike two called. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, that was a good-looking pitch. Eesh. Let's see that one again. You got that one on replay? Grayson Sporting Goods, instant replay for you. What do you think, fans? This one's hit pretty good. Foul right side. It's close. Hmm. One ball, two strikes. One out. This is Maines. That one misses low. Two and two. Maines is one for two on the day. He... Doubled in the first and grounded out to second in the second. And batting here in the fourth. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit pretty good. Left side got a guy there. And he'll make the catch, and there's two away. Now back in Brown County, number 15, Chance Furnish. Chance Furnish, uh, the catcher. 
He's 0 for 2 on the night, grounded out to third, got on by an air on the third baseman. So get ready over there, third baseman. It's coming. The catcher hitting 526 on the season. Here comes the pitch. This one's called strike. And the throw back to the pitcher. Got out to the shortstop. Pops this one up and out of play. Here comes the 0-2. Smacked pretty hard. That that might be out of here. And that's going to go up and over and out of here. He got all that one. And a home run by Chance. Furnish as he hit that one pretty good. Now back for Round County, number nine, Caleb Cooper. Make it a six to three ball game with two outs. That went over the scoreboard, coach. That'll bring up Caleb Cooper. Strike called. Pop this one up right side. Going to be out of play. Way ahead here, 0 and 2. Cooper's a cleanup hitter, a 419 hitter on the year. Pop this one up, right side, center fielder over in right field to make the catch, and that's it. For Round County, one run, a one big hit, a home run. Nobody left on. Going to the bottom of the fourth, it's Round County six and East Carter three on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Welcome back here to East Carter High School. Glad to have you along as we go to the bottom of the fourth, a 6-3 to three score. Brown County leads East Carter. See if we can find some scores for you on the Cool Hits sports ticker. High school... Fast pitch softball. Couple scores in, not from around here. Holmes over Newport, 23 to two, and Pike County Central over Grundy, Virginia, 10 to nothing. No local scores so far in softball. We'll check over on the baseball side. PRP has defeated Christian Educational. 16 to nothing. Fleming County, we told you, won 15 to nothing over Ripley Union tonight. South Laurel over Middlesbrough, 10 to nothing. And McCreary County Central over Lynn Camp, 22 to nothing. Early baseball scores in here in the Commonwealth. 6 to 3 here. Engel's rocking, and he's coming. It's and bounce in front of the plate. Colin Pennington, 
He's the DH. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Struck out in the second inning, and here comes the pitch. 2 0. Here comes a 2 0 pitch. Turns into 2 and 1. It got him in the arm. Now that is the first baseman, number 49, Cody. He's Tenner. Carter. Need base runners. They got him again here in the leadoff guy in the fourth inning, and that's going to bring number 49 to the plate, the first baseman, Cody Salmons. Here comes the pitch. Bunts come right side, and there goes the runner down to second base. Exactly what was wanting to happen there. And Salmon did a good bunt, and there's one away. Sacrificing himself to move the runner Pennington over, and that'll bring up Levi Hutchinson. Swung on and missed. That's how Moore sits there and back and forth. Strike called. Oh, and two. One on, one out. And Hutchinson at the plate. Here comes the 0-2, went upstairs to get it, popped this one up, and looks like left fielder has a beat on it in shallow left field, and he threw it away. Why did he even throw it for? I don't know. But he, but he threw it away, and off to third base goes Pennington. The Raiders, number 16, take Scott. So that brings the Raiders back up to the top of the lineup. <clears throat> and this one's fouled at the plate for the left-handed hitter, Tate Scott. And a strike called. Well, hopefully the Raiders can get another run here. Tate Scott, he got on with a base on ball last inning. Later scored. And this one's upstairs and outside. One and two. Hit a pretty hard ball back in the first inning to left field on a pop-up. First pitch of the game. Here comes the one and two. Foul at the plate. Count holds it one and two. Well, hopefully our Papa John's Pizza will get here soon. I've got it coming. Our, our boy's taking care of us here on Cool TV. It'll be here in about, I don't know, whenever they can get it up here. And a cookie. We appreciate Brian and the whole gang and 
The Papa John's Pizza in Grayson. Better ingredients, better pizza. That's Papa John's. And here comes the pitch. Stays up two and two. He said they're looking for some help. Looking for a job? Stop by and see him at Papa John's. And as Engel steps off the back of the rubber, big deep breath for him. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Raiders trying to get this run in from third. A six to three ball game. Stays upstairs. It's three and two now. Bottom of the fourth. Here comes Engels. And this one misses. He walked him. His second walk of the game and second walk of the year for Tate Scott. That'll bring up Ty Scott, the third baseman. He's one for two, doubled with an RBI in the last inning. And Ducks on the pond here. Big lead at first base. I bet he's going, and he don't go. He didn't go. Strike called. Ty Scott. We told you he doubled in the third inning with that RBI. He scored later on. Engel checking out. Scott at first base appears to be going. He does. And this one is inside for a ball. Here comes the 1 1. Strike called. Here comes Engel, swung on and hit foul by T Ty Scott down the left side, right around the third base coach's box. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two on here for East. Looking to get a couple runs here. That one stays upstairs. Ball three. I don't know. The catcher really went hopping around like that was a strike, but that was up high. Strike three. Called. And that's it for East Carter. Here are the fourth. They get no runs on no hits. They leave two on. After four, it's round county six and East Carter three on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. 
Welcome back to East Carter High School. Six to three, Round County here in the top of the fifth inning. Five, six, and seven hitters due up for Round County this inning. It's going to be DeHart, Hampton, and Wilburn. Brown County with six runs on seven hits. Tom Alonis misses outside. Round County's already played. This is her 12th ball game. Pops this one up. Second baseman says he's got it just on the apron. And he'll make the catch, and there's one away. Now back for Round County, number 30, Hunter Hampton. That'll bring Hunter Hampton. He's one for two on Bonaire. Scored twice, though. Singled as well. And a called strike. Oh, one. one It's in the dirt. And outside, one and one. East Carter's next game will be in Cocoa, Florida. Cocoa Expo Sports Center. Been around a long, long time. It's been re been remodeled really well. And it's supposed to be a great place again. It once was and then got a little run down. And then everything's been remodeled, they tell me. And a strike called and that's where the Raiders will be next week at Coco Expo. Used to be a major league umpiring training facility as well. Pop this one up. In foul territory, they wasn't able to get to it. Catcher made a good effort try on that, but. One and two, the count. So back in the 1980s, Coco Expo was just baseball only. They kept adding baseball fields. I think there's, they used to be about eight or nine, maybe 10. Now there's, I think there's a few less because they added a bunch of soccer fields. The Expos, of course, started playing. The Florida Marlins played there their first games when they first started. That was kind of cool. The Marlins playing there in the stadium and you playing over game four, in the same complex. So about 10,000 people over there, the roar of the crowd. And it was pretty cool. Here comes the two, two stayed upstairs. Here comes the pitch swung on hit hard. Left center field looks like Hall coming in, said, I got it, and makes the catch, and there's two away. Now back for out county number 23, Colby Wilbur. Colby Wilburn comes to the plate. He's uh, officially one for one. Had a sack fly and had a single and a run scored in the second. And a strike called. One ball, one strike. Swung on, foul. One and two. Check swing. I think he went. He did. Strike three, and that's the inning for Round County here in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no runners left on. Going to the bottom of the fifth. 
It's Round County 6, East Carter 3, back in a moment on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV-compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com new, new pitcher in the game here back at East Carter High School for Round County is going to be Kevin Lambert. Ingles and Dunn for the day. He saw 25 batters it looks like. And no, I'm sorry. He isn't saw 25 batters. He saw 20 batters. And he gave up three runs. Oh, it looks like about four hits. He walked a couple. Tate Scott walked twice against him. That was all the walks. And it looks like he ended up with four strikeouts. Now back for the Raiders, number three, Andrew Tomalonis. So Andrew Tomalonis will lead things off for the Raiders. Here in the fifth inning, East again looking for base runners again. They they got guys on in the second. They got their three runs in the third. They had guys on in the fourth. Looking for some more base runners here. Coming back down. One and oh, the count. Andrew Tom Malonis is 0 for 2 on the day, popped up to second and lined out to second. Inside 2 and 0. Oh. Here comes the 2 0 oh pitch. Stayed upstairs, left side. That's hard to hit left side. He don't have a clue where it is. Goes down the line. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Tom Malone. He, the young man didn't have a clue out in left field where the ball was. So a leadoff double for the Raiders. Just what they needed is base runners. And that will bring up uh, Blake Hall to the plate. He's two for two with a single and a double and an RBI scored. He's even stole the base tonight. So he's having a pretty good ball game. Courtesy runner comes out to run for the pitcher. And we're ready to get started here. Nobody out. Top of the fifth inning. And the pitch, bunted right back to the pitcher, moves the runner, and I think he's safe at first. He is. He legged that one out. Now batting for the Raiders. He's got two infield hits and a single. For Hall, he's pretty fast. He reminds me of a young man that played baseball at Boyd County, graduated in 2000. His name was Caleb Stewart. He ended up going to UK to play. He got drafted later on, but 
He had a lot of infield hits. He could he could really motor, and so can Blake Hall. Nobody out. Runners the corners here. Six to three ball game. Round County leads. East Carter threatening here in the fifth. Jackson Barker at the plate. He's one for two tonight. Singled and on by an air. Switching around and he's. And the pitch stays upstairs. One and out. Nice lead at first. There he goes on his way to second. And it and it hit him. Come on, Davy. So oh, the runners are coming back. One and them. Yeah, makes it one and one. No, nope, he's saying two oh now, so oh well. So two balls, no strikes. There's the corners here. There he goes again to second. The throw down. And he's safe. Really wasn't close. So he's Carter knocking on the door here. Lambert. Giving up a double and a single. And if you can get a hit here, get a couple runs in, it's a one-run ball game, and that hit him. He's saying for the second time to now batting, this second inning. Baseman, number 35, Barker. Sexton. Base is loaded here. For Gavin Sexton, he's 0 for 2 on the day. He struck out in the second, and a pop-up to short in the third. And... <laughs> Tying, tying run on first base for East Carter. Six. And having a little mound chit chat. We'll keep it right here as he is zooming in there. Great work from our camera guys. And a long ball game. It's really slowed way down. Started out pretty good, but. 8-11. We're in the fifth inning. And looks like we're about ready to get started. Brown County's coach coming off the field. All the East Carter guys will get back to the bag. First baseman's in on the grass. Second baseman back with the shortstop. Third baseman playing even with the bag. Outfield straight away. For Round County, here comes the pitch. Swung on and hit hard down the left field line. That's going to drop in there. One run will score. They'll wave in another run. And they're going to hold him up at third. The tying run going to be standing down at third base. Uh, but a big old... Double down the left field line for Sexton. With two RBIs. And a one-run ball game here. So, probably going to have a pitching change here. Lambert didn't do very good. He... 
Bless his heart, he, had a, he gave up a double, a single, hit one, and then another double. Feel sorry for that young man. Just not his night. It happens in baseball. And we'll see the new pitchers. We'll take a break, come back, and we'll tell you all about it. It's six to five now here at East Carter High School. Round County leads East. Two on and nobody out here on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Two runs in already. Started up with a new pitcher this inning, did Round County, Lambert. He came in and pitched to Tom Malonis, and he roped a double. Then Blake Hall had a single. And then he hit Jackson Barker, which loaded the bases, and Gavin Sexton just roped one down the left field line for a double with two RBIs, and all of a sudden, it's a one-run lead for Round County at 6-5. to five. And it's going to be the new pitcher here is going to be Tyler Crisp for Round County. And he's Carter with no outs. And runners at second and third will bring up Pennington. Here comes the pitch, a strike called. No balls and a strike. Here comes the pitch. He squares to bunt. Bunts this one foul. Did everything he could. That ball was coming at his head. Oh, and two, the count. <laughs> Checking back at second and again. Plate board now. Swung on and roped down the left field line foul. Six to five, the score. Raiders have plated two already this inning with nobody out. Trying to get a couple more here. Why not? Squares to bunt. Bunts right back to the pitcher in the air. And that's going to be some trouble. He gets a double play at third base. He bunted right back to the pitcher in the air. Now batting number 49. Cody. That's uh, two away. Not what you needed. I don't have to tell you, fans. So, with runners at second and third and nobody out, now we got runner at second and two outs. Cody Salmons 
0 for 1 on the night, popped up at the first baseman, had a good sacrifice bunt back in the fourth. And swung on and missed. Good healthy swing. Looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, looked pretty good. Two and one. Checking back at second a couple times, and now he'll come to the plate. Nope, he's going to go to second. I'm going to fake to second. Sexton giving him some fits out there at second base. Here comes the 2 1 pitch. Strike two called. And Crisp from Round County has the sign. It'll look back at second. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Swung at a high fastball. And the Raiders get two runs on two on three hits. And they leave one on after five. It's Round County six and East Carter five. On Cool TV. JD Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat JD Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call JD Flooring and Greenup 606 473 0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from JD Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Top of the sixth we go. It'll be eight, nine, and one this inning. Number two, Abram Norton. Abram Norton will lead things off. He is 0 for 2 on the night. Granted out to second. And got on by a strikeout E2. And a strike called. Here comes the pitch. Misses. 1 and 1. Two and one. Tom Alone is really right where he wants to be in this lineup. Eight and nine. And a three oh count now. A three one count now. Fouled off and out of play. Here comes a 3-2 pitch. Walked him. Now 
Thinks that that might be his first walk of the night. And Will Richardson comes to the plate. He's one for two. And we're going to have a chit-chat with the coach. So we'll step out, take a break. 6-5 the score here from East Carter High School on the Cool Hit Sports Network. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro Kentucky. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Dees Carter got on the second base, did Norton. Oh, and won the count here on the number nine here in the lineup. The number two hitter this inning is Richardson. He's squaring the bunt and does right back to the pitcher. He'll make the play at first base. He didn't even run down, did he? He just turned around and walked back to the dugout. Sacrifice bunt got the runner to third, but now the Vikings back up to the top of the order. One and oh here. Everybody's in on the grass. Pop this one up. And center fielder has a beat on it. Shallow center field. I don't think they'll send him, and they do. And uh, they're going to close play at the plate. Right there to make the call was Anderson, and he said he was safe. So, one run in. Two outs. Now batting for Round County, number three, Hayden Mains. Makes it a seven to five ball game. And Hayden Mains steps to the plate here, and this one's tagged foul. Strike called. 0 oh and 2. 0 oh and 2, two outs. Big deep breath here from Tom Alonis. Here comes the pitch. Swung on and going to maybe drop in right in front of the left fielder. And. Uh, now back around guy number 15, Chance Furnished. That's going to be Maines' second hit of the ball game. So with one on and two outs, that's going to bring up Chance uh, Furnish, the catcher. He's hit the ball good all day. Had the home run back in the fourth inning on by an error on the third baseman, the second, and then grounded out to third. <clears throat> and we may be having a pitching change. And it looks like we are. So we'll step out, take a break, come back, and tell you all about it 
right here on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup. 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back here to East Carter High School. Colton McGuire comes to pitch. We'll get some stats on him, but looks like five and two-thirds innings here for Andrew Tomalonis. He looks like it's all 30 batters. And looks like he gave up the seven runs on the Eight hits. Only walked one. That was here in this inning. Ended up with, looks like, one, two, three, four strikeouts tonight. Ice lead at first base. This one comes and on the way to second to throw down. They got him. And it was a very good throw by the catcher. Oh, so, Furnish will come back to bat in the seventh. But here in the sixth inning for Round County, they get one run. On, looks like, one hit. And they leave furnish, uh, fur furnish at the plate. So going in the bottom of the sixth, it's Round County, seven. East Carter, five, back in a moment on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Bottom of the sixth inning we go. Nine, one, and two do up this inning for East Carter. It's going to be Hutchinson, Scott, and Scott. We're ready to get started here. Now batting for the Raiders, number 11, Levi Hutchinson. So Hutchison, he's 0 for 2 on the day. He struck out in the third and popped up in the fourth. East Carter trying to get some more base runners here. They got uh, three runs in the third and two in the fifth. 
Here comes the pitch. I could, I could hit him. And any way you get base runners, it don't matter. And, and that'll do it for East. Get him a base runner, leadoff hitter. Look back in the second inning, they had their leadoff guy, Blake Hall, get on. In the fourth inning, their leadoff guy got on. And looks like in the fifth inning, the leadoff guy got on. And you remember back in the fifth was the double, single, hit by pitch, and the double. And the throw back to first, it gets away from the first baseman. He may get third, he rounds second. Nope, he's holding up right there. So an error, a throwing error on the pitcher. Gets Hutchinson all the way to second. Looking out at second base. Coming plate word strike called and so and one. Tate Scott, he's walked the last two times. He popped up to the left fielder back in the first inning on the first pitch of the ball game. And he looks at ball one. Tie behind him. Nobody out. One on here. East. Trailing round by two to tie. Seven to five. Round County. Nice hit foul. Heard the crack of the bat. Crisp, Tyler Crisp come to in the fifth here for Round County. Over two hour game here tonight. Right at two hours now. Swung on and hit hard at the second baseman. He'll gobble it up and make the throw at first as the runner advances to third base. Moving the runner is important. Now back for the Raiders, number 17, Ty Scott. Well, bring it on over. Yeah, better ingredients, better pizza. That's Papa John's. Here, you you, you guys take two, okay? There you go. Our good friend from Papa John's Pizza in Grayson here took care of us, sent pizza to the press box. We appreciate you, sir. And all the pizza at Papa John's. You know, it's locally owned, internationally known. Papa John's Pizza in Grayson, Flatwoods, and Louisa. 0-2 oh, the count. And this one goes behind the batter and hit hard off the back screen. Good idea not to go. Because it hit something solid behind the backstop, comes straight back to the catcher when he turned around. He would have been dead to right. Oh, and he sent, he sent a chocolate chip cookie. See, I'm giving away the pizza, but I'm selling pieces of the cookie. I'm only joking. This one's hit foul out of play. You're going to have to eat a piece of this pizza, Jeff. Here comes the one and two pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Now batting number three, Andrew Tomalonis. Here comes Andrew Tomalonis, who started the game on the mound. Here comes the pitch. Oh, got him. Hit him in the back and on his way to first. So now with two on, for the, Raiders, the, center fielder, number 10, the tying run at first base here for East Carter. That's the catcher coming out to have a chit chat with his pitcher, Mr. Chris, as East Carter with a real chance here with 
Blake Hall coming to the plate. He's he's had a monster game tonight. He is three for three at the plate with the double and two singles. He scored twice, couple stolen bases with an RBI. And we are getting a courtesy runner. Or this would be a pinch runner because Tom Alonis is not the pitcher. Steele running at first base. Riley Steele. Here comes the pitch. This is outside. A good block by the catcher. He got way out there. Could have saved a run. Seven to five, the score. Rush the corners. Two outs here. Bottom of the sixth. Third pitch of the night for Round County. And that one misses. Two and two, or two and oh, rather. Round County didn't get here till a little after six. The game was supposed to start at 6.30. I don't know if it did or not, but pretty close. Two and one the count now. This one's fouled back to the screen. You know the worst thing about waiting on pizza is when it's here, you can't eat it because you're talking. So two balls and a strike to count. Here's a pitch, and on his way to second base is Steele. So Ducks on the pond here for East Carter. <coughs> Tying run down at second base. And a 3-1 count here on the hitter. Dangerous hitter for Round County. Swung on, hit to the third baseman. He'll gobble it up. One run will score, and he does not count because that is the third out. So for East Carter, they get no runs on, looks like, no hits. And they leave a couple on. After six, it's Round County seven and East Carter five on the Cool Hit Sports Network. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfort or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun.
Welcome back to East Carter. I'll be the fastest I've ever ate a slice of pizza. <clears throat> and a strike called. You guys want a piece of cookie? I've got cookie down here. Hot chocolate chip cookie from Papa John's. From your buddy Brian and the gang. One ball, one strike. Here comes the pitch. Hmm. That looked good. Two balls and a strike, though. Looking good and being a strike is two different things, I guess, right? Pop this one up. That's what he needed. Right fielder got a beat on it. Coming in, making the grab, and there's one out. Here in the seventh inning. How about it for Round County? Number nine, Caleb Cooper. So Cooper comes to the plate. He's one for three tonight. Singled in the first, struck out in the second, and popped up to the center fielder in the fourth inning. Man, they ain't nothing better than Papa John's Pizza in the seventh inning. Swung on, popped up right side. That was a hit a little harder, but we got a guy there and makes the catch, and there's two away. How about him? For Round County, number 20, Ben Dehart. So two away here, nobody on. Ben Dehart will come to the plate now. He's he's one for three tonight. Popped up to the right fielder. He got he got a double. And he popped up to the second baseman. One and zero. And a strike called. I don't see nobody eating pizza down that way. Maybe they're concentrating, Jeff. Two and one here now. Take care of business first, though. That's what I was doing when you come back to me. Mm -hmm. Two and one is the count, and this one stays upstairs. Jeff Irwin doing a fantastic job. We'll give him his headset so he can talk to us a few minutes. It's always good talking to Jeff. The Mantis. He, he's worn two headsets before. Pop this one up. Will it stay in? No, it will not. Stay away from the silver car out there. And Jeff, how you doing, my friend? Doing all right. You're doing a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Three balls, two strikes, and here comes the pitch. And check swing. Check I swing. think he went, and they're going to get him down first base and make sure... Of the out, strike out two to three if you're scoring at home. And that's it for Round County here in the seventh. They get no runs, no hits, and no runners left on. Seven to five, the score. So East Carter got to have two to tie. Three to win here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Going to be Barker, Sexton, and Pennington do up for East Carter on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. I'm not done eating yet. 
I guess I am since we're back. Yep, we are back. Bottom of the seventh inning, Jeff. And East Carter going to send up five, six, and seven hitters east. The Raiders, they gave up a run the first. Of course, you know this because you've been sitting here with me all night. Three in the three in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, and one in the sixth. But a couple times early, East Carter had some chances to get out of innings and just, just couldn't get out. There's a uh, hit by a pitcher out there, puts him down on first base. East Carter's had a lot of opportunities here today. I mean, they, they, a couple times I had, could have made some defensive plays to help them and to help Tom Malonis get out of some innings and just didn't, wasn't, wasn't able to do that tonight. And that was earlier in the game, but they never quit. They kept battling, and here we are, seven to five in the, in the bottom of the seventh now. Yeah, still a very winnable game here for East Carter. I mean, one on and nobody out. Tying run at home plate. Here comes a pitch, swung on, popped up, right side out of play. Count goes here, 0 and 2. Here comes the pitch, swung on, hit hard, straight back up the middle. Not going to get to that one. Goes all, all the way to center field, and everybody's safe. That's what that's what you used to hit when you when you when you was in high school, Jeff. I played a little church league softball in my day. So we're gonna have chit chat here. As the coach gonna come to the mound, so we'll take a break. Back in just a moment. I don't I don't think he's coming, Jeff. Yeah, there he goes. Back in just a moment on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. I guess we're going to have a pitching change, Mr. Irwin. That is what it appears to be, so that's going to close the book there on Tyler Chris this evening. You see that dude's number out the mound? Number nine. Yeah, it's number nine, and that appears to be Caleb Cooper. Which I mistakenly said he was starting this uh, uh, today, but uh, Caleb Cooper, one appearance, got to one inning of work in uh, this season. Uh, no hits, no runs, two strikeouts, and uh, one walk here on the season for Cooper. So two on and nobody out for Cooper. Comes in here in the bottom of the seventh inning. East Carter down two, or two, they need two to tie. And they're right where they want to be here. Number seven, eight, and nine now. After five and six got on board, nobody out. DH here to play. He is 0 for 2 today with the ground out back to the pitcher, strike out, and walk. Nope, he was, I mean, a hit by pitch. <clears throat> I 
Brown County is looking for win number 12 in a row tonight. They are 11-0 on the season. This is definitely the man you want up right now, a 667 hitter here on the season. Here comes a pitch, and he squares the bunt, and a strike call. He missed it. May have had a little effect of the scoreboard strobe out there in outfield. Checking at second base. Now he'll come to the plate. Squares to bunt, pulls it back. It's up and out. Count goes to one and one. Friday night, high school baseball. Looking out at second base, squaring the bunt and missing. Making it one and two. Here comes the pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three. Now batting for the Raiders, number 12, Colton McGuire. Colton McGuire. I believe this is his first time up to bat this season. Hmm. Yeah, bunts this one foul right side. Jeff, you had many games so far this season? I was here on Wednesday uh, at that uh, shutout uh, for um, East and Ashland. Well, that was the B team with you, James and Spencer, right? Right. Had James on a little John out there right next to the third base dugout. Hmm. Of course, he's going to take some time off, have himself a little cruise and everything. <clears throat> going on a cruise, huh? On a big boat. He's used to being on little boats. I'm sure he probably still brought his fishing rod with him. That was bunted foul. Would have hit him if he didn't bunt that. Checking the runner at second. Here, nope. Everybody's back safely. 0-2, oh, one out, 7-5 to five the score, Round County. And here comes the pitch, swung on out of play. And Cooper way ahead here with a hitter at 0-2. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Didn't hear any glass, so that's always a good thing here. It's always a good thing. I, I've still got a dent in the top of my car where I got one two or three years ago because Charlie Terry misplayed a foul ball out there and it nailed my car. Well, you know, that happened for the Cincinnati Reds uh, this season, too. Pitcher threw the, um, threw the ball, batter hit it right to the pitcher's window. Oh, and two. Here comes the pitch. Runners are going. And the ball gets away from the catcher. Everybody's safe. It's one and two here. McGuire trots down to the third base coach. They get some get some something going here, and uh, we're ready to get started. Cooper for Round County. Here comes the pitch, swung on and hit out to the second baseman. One run will score, and the throw over to first, and there's two away. The tying run down at third base. It's a seven to six ball game. That's going to bring up uh, Levi Hutchison. And Hutchison is 0 for 2 tonight. He struck out in the third inning, popped up to the left fielder, 
in the in the fourth and was hit by a pitch in the sixth. Fouls this one away down the first baseline. Oh, and one now the call. Cooper. He's a rock, and this one stays upstairs and in. Puts in a little chin music in on that one. Tying run standing there at third base. Sixteenth region baseball action tonight. This one stays up and in. And uh eat or Round County would really like to get this hitter. They don't want East to get back up to the top of the order. Here comes the two one pitch. And a called strike. Put them two pitches on the inside, up high and tight, and put that one just right on the outside the part letters. of the plate. Cross the letters there. Here comes the pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three, and that's the ball game. Freeze Carter, they get one run on one hit, and they leave one. Final school round county seven, East Carter six. We'll come back if you're scoring stats and more on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Thank you. Back here at East Carter, where Round County comes away with a victory here, seven to six, and we got Dickie working on the stats here at the moment, and it, it was a really good ball game. You could not get them any closer than this uh, that we've had here today. It was a lot of, uh, you know, it's probably more fun for Round County fans uh, than it was uh, local East Carter fans, but it it was a great game to watch and call, and it was a game where. Brown County scored in the first, and they scored three more in the second. They got a run in the third, got a run in the fourth. They tacked on another run that <clears throat> ended up being, you know, a good, a re really good for them winning a seven to six ball game. In the sixth, get, they they get that one in the sixth and really helped them out. So, uh, coach, let's take a break. We'll come back and figure up some more stats. Brown County wins at East Carter High School. They improved to twelve and zero. East Carter goes to two and three. Back in just a moment on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. 
Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Back at East Carter High School again, Round County over East Carter tonight by one, seven to six was the score for Round County. They had, uh, I'm sorry, rather East Carter, six runs, eight hits, eight runners left on base, committed four errors tonight. And those four errors was really at, in, at the beginning of the ball game. That, that bad second inning where, where Round got three runs, let off the inning with an error over at third base and then a single. And then they had a ground out that had the first out, but they got a run. Then they had a single, Richardson singled and got an RBI. And it, then there was another error. And then then another ground out and, and, and two, made two outs. And then there was another error. So that second inning really uh, did some damage uh, for the Raiders. Uh, then they got that one in the third. They had the home run in the fourth. And uh, then Round County got one more in the sixth inning. Uh, but six runs for East Carter. They had eight. Hits. They had eight runners left on base. They had those four errors, but East never quit during the ball game. They battled right back and had a chance here with a runner at third, uh, you know, and just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get it done this evening. Early in the ball in the uh, baseball schedule, so uh, a lot of games left. Two good teams certainly played tonight for Round County. Seven runs on eight hits. Five runners left on base. They committed one error. Uh, Pennington ended up uh, 0 for 3 at the plate. Maines uh, 2 for 4. Uh, looks like uh, Furnish was 1 for 4. Cooper was 1 for 4. Dehart was 1 for 4. Hampton was 1 for 3. Wilbert ended up 1 for 2. Uh, Norton ended up 0 for 2. And Will Richardson ended up 1 for 2 tonight. Again, we told you Brown County improves to 12 and 0. Their next game will be in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. For the East Carter Raiders, uh, hitting wise, Scott Tate Scott was 0 for 2 tonight. Ty Scott was 1 for 4. Andrew Tomalonis ended up 1 for 3 tonight. Uh, Blake Hall was 3 for 4 tonight. Jackson Barker, 1 for 2. Gavin Sexton was 2 for 4 tonight. Colin Pennington was 0 for 3. Uh, Cody Salmons ended up 0 for 1. McGuire was 0 for 1, and Hutchison was 0 for 3. Again, for the Raiders, six runs, eight hits, and eight runners left on base. East uh, record two wins and three losses in their next game will be in Cocoa Beach, Florida, for their spring training April the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We'll have them when they come home. I don't know why. I mean, you didn't go with them to Cocoa Beach, Florida, Jeffrey. Uh, I tried to convince them to do so that. but uh, Let's take a break. We'll wrap it up from East Carter High School. Round County wins 7-6 to six, right here on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Well, back at East Carter High School, Brown County wins seven to six tonight, and uh, both teams end up with eight hits. Both teams had chances, and and uh, you know, uh, Brown County was just able to hold off East Carter there in the bottom of the seventh inning uh, to come with the win. This pretty good Brown County team, twelve and zero, uh, and and uh, so they've already played that many games, and they're 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 uh, undefeated so far. So uh, matchups with Brown County as they come into our neck of the woods. Be sure you take time and go out and and uh, see our teams play. Round County's pretty good this year. We know East Carter is is really good this year. Uh, some other teams to watch. Boy County is playing very very well. 
Uh, don't count out the defending champs again, Raceland. Uh, they've got a really good team and well coached. And uh, Jeremiah Shear would tell you that. So, yeah, and uh, a new field, too. And a new, brand new turf field. So, I mean, go down to see that thing. They, they say it's beautiful. But uh, uh, East Carter, a lot, lot of season left and a lot of games. They're going to win some ball games. Really good team. They're gritty, they don't quit. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun to keep keep up with them as well. Jeff, thank you so much for all you do. You're fantastic, okay? Uh, you're very welcome. You are the Papa John's Pizza Worker of the Evening. There we go. Okay. we got, we got to thank producer Brian. Of, too. Producer of the Evening. Big thank to Brian. Yeah, th- thank you, sir. Uh, you know what we say, better ingredients, better pizza. That's that's Brian Greenhill. Yeah, and, and he fueled up this uh, this game. So I mean, you know, uh, fueled us yep. up. Right when we needed it, we got it. A- absolutely. You know, so. you get you get right into about that six seventh inning, mm-hmm. and it's like you know, start getting down a little bit, get a little bit of Papa yep. John's pizza in you. You're ready to go. Back on top again. So don't you get that way. Make sure you have your Papa John's pizza before the seventh inning and get you fired up and ready to get that last inning in. Jeff, big thanks. Okay. And thank you. And uh, big thanks to our camera guy on the hill. Uh, is that Ian? That's Ian Farmer. And we appreciate him so very, very much. Until next time, for all of us at Cool TV and Cool Hits 105.7, have a great Easter weekend. And remember, champions do live Christian lives. Thank you for watching another East Carter Raiders broadcast live on Cool TV. This broadcast of East Carter Raiders Baseball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.